Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. I'm kind of at a point with the Civic and the BMW where I don't have any parts to install right now and I'm waiting to go to the track with the Civic tomorrow and I just felt like I needed to get a video out because I've kind of just been slow these past couple days. So by no means am I putting this video out just because I feel like I have to get a video out. I've been meaning to make this video for a while and I feel like it's going to be very informative and very helpful for you guys. Even if you're like one of my viewers or some of my viewers that are not so into cars but you just watch because you like to watch Watch what I do and you appreciate that I have a YouTube channel this might still be entertaining and interesting to you because you'll get to learn about something that's actually really cool it's kind of a cool automotive system and that is catch cans and breather tanks now I apologize for the engineering explained vibe today this was just the best way that I could think of to film this video so I just threw the board to the side and I'm gonna give you a little bit of background before I get into this now if you guys are returning subs you'll know that I just recently installed a breather tank on my turbo Civic. I constantly go back and forth by accidentally calling it a catch can and then a breather tank and then a catch can and a breather tank and they are two different things and I know that it has bothered a couple of you guys. So today I just want to set that straight. I want to tell you the differences between the two, what applications they're best for, some disadvantages to them, and some example setups of how you could be running them in your car. So with all that being said, let's get into it. What are breather tanks and catch cans? While looking so similar, they couldn't be more different. They have very distinct purposes and very distinct advantages and disadvantages. So over here in the top left corner of this board, first off, I wrote subscribe. So please, please, if you like this video, please subscribe. Please click that like button. I would really appreciate it. And I also illustrated exactly what a catch can and a breather tank could look like. Now, this is just an example. They don't all look like this, but there are a couple of things that are pretty consistent throughout breather tanks and catch cans. Now, in a catch can setup, you'll probably have much thinner hoses, and in a breather tank setup, you'll have much thicker hoses. In my particular setup, I use a dash 10 AN fitting and dash 10 like hose size. That's pretty much going to be consistent throughout. If you have a really big hose diameter, it's probably more breather tank oriented, whereas if you have a really thin hose diameter, it's going to be more catch can oriented. Now let's move on to the purpose of these two systems. So I'm going to start with catch can. A catch can's purpose is to prevent engine blow by, promote engine health by cutting down on carbon buildup, and this is especially helpful in direct injection engines. I'll explain why in just a second. And you're probably going to see them more often in naturally aspirated setups, whereas in turbo charge applications and supercharged applications um, a breather tank might work better so one of the reasons that a catch can is so beneficial in a direct injection engine is because that fuel is not being shot into the engine before the valves so the valves are not being cleaned they can get very gunked up with carbon and like old fuel buildup and all just this gross stuff that you don't want a catch can will prevent that stuff from building up in there and will seriously help the efficiency and the emissions and the performance of your engine and the health over time. It's a very good idea for direct injection engines. Now to move on to the purpose of a breather tank. The main purpose of a breather tank is to prevent pressure buildup. By preventing pressure buildup, you're definitely gonna promote the engine's health and it's also gonna free up horsepower. The way it would free up horsepower is by reducing the crankcase pressure, preventing it from creating positive pressure and it allows the pistons and rods to move up and down more freely and allow that engine just to breathe a lot better and just work way more efficiently. Also, they're like almost necessary in a lot of like high boost, high horsepower forced induction applications. I found that it was 100% necessary in my Turbo Civic, which is only making about 7 PSI, but it still seemed to be completely necessary. The reason that a breather tank might be necessary in a forced induction application is because by there being pressure inside the cylinders, there's going to be a lot of blow by and a lot of pressure getting past the piston rings, and that will in turn pressurize your crankcase. In my situation, I was actually having oil squirt out of my engine from various locations. So I needed a breather tank in order to vent that pressure so that oil didn't squirt out of my engine. Whereas in my BMW 335i, I could probably use a catch can setup because I have direct injection. Now, can you run both? Yeah. yeah. You can run both. You can run a catch can and a breather, but it's just more complicated, more random hoses running around your engine bay. So it's kind of good to find which one works best for your application to go with that unless you're running some like really intense race car and you want to run both you definitely can now to move on to some disadvantages of both depending on how you have them set up they both fill up with oil they both fill up with blow by they both fill up with stuff that you're gonna have to drain every once in a while now like i said depending on how you have them set up this could get really annoying they could be filling up every couple pulls which they shouldn't be but it will get annoying that you're gonna have to drain it every once in a while with a catch can setup the disadvantage the main disadvantage is that it doesn't really vent crankcase pressure the reason being if you look up here most catch cans are sealed they don't vent anything 
Whereas in a breather tank, you have a filter coming off the top. In most cases, you have a filter coming off the top, which allows air to escape through that filter. And the filter hopefully will catch any like oil vapors, anything like that from flying out of your engine. Its purpose is to vent that pressure from these hoses out through the can. Whereas with a catch can, it's supposed to bring the pressure in, have that oil go all the way through it, get stuck in the can, and then back out through the other hose, and that air goes back into the engine. Now some disadvantages for a breather tank is that depending on how you have it set up, it could fill up fast. You're also increasing your engine's emissions. You're gonna have a lot of vapors going into the atmosphere that are not really supposed to. A lot of the times, even the more expensive ones like mine, are not that great at catching blow-by. They do have like some kind of medium inside that's supposed to catch it, but it just doesn't really, not its main purpose. It's supposed to vent pressure and that's pretty much it. And they can also be a lot more expensive. I've seen some catch can setups on Amazon for like 20 bucks and like they'll probably do just fine. Whereas like breather tank setups, you have to run like big fittings, AN fittings, big hose. You can either go steel braided, you can go push lock, you can go rubber hose. It's, it's really up to you, but it can get pricey to do a breather tank setup. At the end of the day, who are these for? Catch can setup, someone with direct injection, someone who's trying to promote their engine health and reduce carbon buildup. Breather tank, Someone with a force induction application, turbo, supercharger, building a lot of crankcase pressure. If you need to vent that pressure to promote horsepower, to stop positive crankcase pressure, to stop oil from squirting out of your engine like mine, breather tank's gonna do that for you. Now you might be wondering, how do I set these up? What am I supposed to run the hoses into? Where are they supposed to go? I had the same exact questions. I'm very new to breather tanks and catch cans. I actually didn't really even know what they were until about a month ago. But because I absolutely needed a breather tank, I did a ton of research and I found a couple of really good articles and write-ups on the subject. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the links to those in the description. Those are gonna have example setups for you, how you can run them, where you can run the hoses to, how you can run them to the catch can, all kinds of really useful information if you're looking at setting one up. And I'm actually gonna take you outside and show you how I have mine set up right now in my Civic. I'm also gonna refer you to my past two videos. I'll put a tag up here to those videos and you guys Honestly, you should check them out if you're looking at setting up a breather tank because it worked out really well for me. So they're gonna be up here. Please check them out. It'll also highlight how I have mine set up. So if you're looking at setting up a breather tank on a Honda or four cylinder engine with a turbo, that's the best way to do it in my opinion. But anyway, let's go outside. I'll show you mine and I hope it's helpful. So guys, this is my 1993 Honda Civic EG hatch. If you're new here, you've not seen this car yet but it is a B18 B1 swap from an Acura Integra LS. It has an eBay turbo kit and it's making 225 wheel horsepower on a 2.25 inch exhaust. Anyway, let's focus on the breather tank. So I have mine mounted over here so that it's at the highest location in the engine bay. That way gravity will prevent oil from filling up in there. I also currently have one side of it blocked off because I just didn't have time to get another hose and run it up to the valve cover, but I'll eventually have two hoses running to the valve cover. And then I also have one hose down at the bottom it's really hard to see but i have one hose coming out of the bottom of it and running around the back and to the engine block that way when oil fills up in there i was having a problem with it filling up too fast so that way when oil fills up in there from the valve cover and from the engine block after the pull is over it can drain back down through that bottom hose and back into the engine it's a very efficient setup it's been working really well I'm not squirting any oil out anymore so it's awesome. The only thing left to do is definitely to run that other hose so that I can have two to the valve cover and I realize that this looks awful right now. This engine is completely function over form right now and uh, I need to seriously take some time and make this engine bay look nice. I'm going to repaint this valve cover soon. I might get some new radiator hoses going. I want to wipe everything down. I want to repaint in here. Like there's a ton of work that needs to be done in this engine bay but this car needs some other stuff first. If you guys are interested in seeing the process of building this car and the journey of this car I do have a playlist on my channel that you guys can check out and there's also going to be tons of content coming for this car in regards to brakes seats, safety modifications in general. Please feel free to click that subscribe button and come along for the journey of this Civic. So guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something from this video. I hope that it helps you to understand the difference between a breather tank and a catch can setup. And I hope that it helps you to make a decision on what is right for your setup. I know that I was really, really confused about all this a couple of months ago. And also I really, I do want to be like really humble about this. And like, if there's anything that I said in this video that you don't necessarily agree with, or that doesn't make any sense, please, please call me on the comments. Because like I said, 
I'm new to understanding breather tanks and catch cans, but I have done a lot of research. With all that being said, please check out my Civic content on my channel. I know you guys are gonna love it. Who doesn't love a Turbo Civic? And please click that subscribe button. Also, if you like this video, please click that thumbs up. I will be making merch very, very soon. I just got started on it. I'm waiting for a couple of things to come through, and then I can go ahead and start ordering samples. It is in the works. It is going down. It's happening. I'm very, very excited to start making my own clothing and stuff like that. All right, that's it. I'm done rambling. I've been talking for way too long. I just drank coffee and it's kind of, <laughs> you know, you know what coffee does. And as I always say, boys, remember to plan, commit, execute, and attain your goals. I'm not kidding. Do it. Bye.